All right, uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you Akim, all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing his truth and truth sincerity. Um, I'm back at you with another lesson. You know, um, this whole ISUPK thing and these other camps that teach the um, RFID chip is the mark of the beast got me thinking. You know, these other camps, they don't teach about the election, the elect, those ones who are chosen out, all right, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? These other camps, they just give you Zephaniah 2 and 1. Matter of fact, let's go, let's go ahead and get that, all right? Uh, Zephaniah, I think it's Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. And this is what these other camps use to 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 get the vagabonds and, and lower base of men into their camp. You know, they they they're about numbers. They're about recruitment. All right, they have various schools throughout your city. All right, they have the most expensive garments on. They have the luxury cars. All right, they have the elaborate Passovers. But what they don't talk about is the election. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back to Isaiah. I think it was Isaiah 45. I was at. Isaiah chapter 45. <clears throat> it says, Isaiah 45 and 4, for Jacob's for, for Jacob, my servant's sake. Now Jacob's name was later changed to Israel. I believe it's that's in Genesis chapter 35 when he uh wrestled with the angel. Alright, Jacob also name is Israel. So if you look in the Bible, alright, if you see Jacob, that pertains to Israel. Because that was his name was later changed to. Israel means he is a prince of the power, okay? And Jacob in the Hebrew is Yaakov, which means supplanter. It says, for ja Jacob, my servant's sake, sake, and Israel, mine elect. So that goes to show you that the Lord is not dealing with these other nations, man. All right, precept on that. I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 40, uh, verse 17. It says, <clears throat> behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance behold he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing all right so when you have a drop coming out of a bucket you're not paying attention to that drop that came out of the bucket you got a whole bucket all right verse 17 all nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity all right the, the lord basically just created these other nations to uh be servants to us in the kingdom of heaven okay we've been under all these other nations but now it's time for them to be up under us okay so that goes to show you from reading isaiah 45 and 4 that the election only pertains to israel because they uh, israel was the one that was chosen out just like how you have a favorite piece of uh, clothing you got those favorite jeans you got your favorite food you got your favorite car that you like Okay, God, whose name is Yahweh, has a favorite people, and these are the Israelites, all right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and confusion of faces out there on these four corners of the earth, okay? But he's only chosen a few of you to obtain salvation. And Lord willing, we be part of this number, us men who labor in this faith, all right? So back to Isaiah chapter 45. There's a lot of demons out here today. You know, the weather get a little cool, and our demons just start popping up, all right? Isaiah 45 and 4, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. All right? And two-thirds um, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have not, not known the Most High because he hasn't disclosed this valuable word to them. Okay? All right? So what I wanted to say was... Um, I want to go to another precept. It was on the top of my head. All right. Um, I want to go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Okay. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 7. All right. Verse 6. It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Let's look at this word chosen, man. All right, that's what I was trying to look for, the word chosen. That's the spirit. All 
All right, that word is uh, Bakar, B-A-C-H-A-A-R, in, in the uh, Paleo-Hebrew, Lashon Kodash. Uh, pl the word plural, plural for that is Bakarium. All right, it says to choose, elect, decide for, to be chosen, to be selected. So, okay. These damn Edomite children, man, going into slavery. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have basically selected thee to be a special people unto him. So the Most High selected you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be uh, a chosen people unto him. But you have rejected the Most High. Okay, so he only has a remnant of people who are going to be predestinated for salvation out here. It continued on, it says, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Because our people do not want to be ahead of everybody on the face of the earth. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being a slave here in Babylon. All right, I want to be above my oppressors. That's what it's about. There's always a good person in, in this story. In these stories, like movies, is always the good and the evil, okay? The good is Jacob. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces, the evil is these other nations starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all right? The wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of, all right? All right, in verse 7, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, have the, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the house from the hand of pharaoh king of egypt okay and the lord just like they were the, the israelites got saved out of egypt all right now all, not every israelite is going to be saved out of the second egypt because um going into revelation uh 11 verse 8 it says and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city which spiritually is called sodom and egypt where also our Lord was crucified. So Sodom and Egypt, this is basically a cold word for America. Our people are spiritually dead. You see it every day. Okay, so the Lord is only dealing with a few elect members and the great multitude is going to get saved up out of the second Babylon. He's not going to take everybody because even 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 people who don't follow the Bible have seen, um, have read about the Israelites and how rebellious they went when they when they went in the wilderness for 40 years. Everybody knows that account in the Bible, whether you are an atheist, a Buddhist, a Jehovah's, a Jehovah's Witness, a Methodist, a Muslim, so on and so forth, okay? You all know that account of the Israelites being rebellious 40 years in the wilderness, all right? And only a few, uh, Joshua and Caleb going into the promised land, okay? Everybody knows that account in the Bible, man. But only this time, there's only going to be a few remnant, the elect, that's going to be saved up out of this bitch called Babylon. All right? And it is a bitch, man. Excuse my language, but it, it is a bitch, man. This place is a bitch, man. All right, we have to go work these long hours at these jobs. We have to pay these taxes. We have to bring a brief, unclean air. We have to deal with demons on these people every day. You go to work, one person tells you to do one thing, and then two minutes later, they tell you to do something else. All right? These people are, are, are pervert, perverse. Especially our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces. All right, so I'm gonna go to Revelation. I mean Romans 11. Um, what I want to get into. All right, Revelation Romans 11 and 7. It says, uh, "What then Israel have obtained?" That what she's seeking for. They're attaining salvation, but they can't get it. Two thirds of our people can't get this salvation, man. They're stuck in a Christian church. They're stuck being Moors. They're stuck, stuck being Jehovah's Witnesses. They're stuck being Buddhist. And whatever wind of doctrine they believe in, they're trying to seek some type of salvation because Romans 10 says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. All right. Our people have a zeal for God, but not according to the righteous knowledge that he gave to the election. Okay? It says, uh, let me go to, uh, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the elect have attained it and the rest were blinded. 
All right, the rest of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are blinded. All right, election. Let's look up that word in the Greek. We already got the first word in the Hebrew, which is bakar, which means to, to be picked out, to be chosen, to be selected. All right. It says, uh, Ekloge. Strong's G, 1589, Eklage. 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 The act of picking out, choosing, of the act of God's free will, by which before the foundation of the world he decreed his blessings to certain persons. So that goes to show you it's predestination in the Bible. Not everybody can be saved, man. All right, so kick, kick, kick all that Christian garbage in the trash can with Oscar the Grouch, man. All right. The decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Yahweh Shabbat, grace alone. All right. God's elect. All right. So all that God loves everybody crap, man. Like I said, you need to throw it in the trash with, uh, with where Oscar the Grouch is at, man. Because the Lord is not dealing with everybody. It's pr it clearly tells you, okay, that the, first of all, the Most High is not dealing with all these other nations outside the nation of Israel. And he, right now, he's not even dealing with all the nation of Israel. As, as, it clear, as it says in this definition, it goes Satan. G1589, Eklo, Eklo Gay. All right. Of the act of God's free will by which before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessings to certain persons. The election. Okay. That's why the election is the hopeful elect, as uh, uh, Elder Apostle Barr says, is out there doing the work. All right. To make your calling and election short. All right. So, um, let me bring out a few more scriptures. All right. This is um, John 17 and 9. Let Satan pass by. All right. It says John 17 and 9. Now, like, a lot of these Christians like to quote John 3 16 and say that's talking about everybody. Okay. They don't look into words like cosmos in John 3 16. But John 17 and 9, it says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Okay, that's talking about the election, all right? Because, like I said once again, from the scriptures, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, according to scriptures like Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17 through 15, the Lord is not dealing with the other 17 nations outside the nation of Israel, first and foremost. And then second, he's not dealing with... uh the whole nation because they ever since they ever since you so-called negroes latinos and native americans came out of babylon you've been following uh satan man you've been following Baal. you've been following all types of other gods Ashtaroth, dagon uh jesus christos mary uh, uh mary all right guadalupe you're into brujaria santeria voodoo all types of witchcraft believing in yourself yolo all right, so the Lord is not going to save two-thirds of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. He just ain't working like that this time, man. And you can clearly see why. All right, because we tell you about the election in the scriptures, unlike these Israelite camps. But you, you, you slander our name, man. You say we're this or that. We're pedophiles and we do this and we do that. Okay. The Lord is like, okay. All right, yeah, y'all don't want to hear about prophets, man, who are sent out there day in and day out, rising up early to tell you of the calamity that's coming. I'm only going to save a uh, uh, one third and I'm, and I'm going to save the election. All right. Those who were picked out from salvation. All right. So. Um, let me go to one more scripture. I'll close out Matthew um, 24. 31. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth to the other. All right, this is when Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, comes back. All right, he's going to gather his election, those who were picked out, selected for salvation this time around. Lord willing, we be part of that number. All right, from Elder Apostle Tahar on down, the men of Great Millstone, the ones who are preaching his truth and truth and sincerity. All right, let's look at that word um, elect. Now we got Egloje, now we're going to get elect. In the Greek. All right, Eglectos. G1588.
Strong's G, 1588, Eclectos. 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 It says, picked out, chosen. Chosen by God. All right. Now, Israel's been clearly been chosen out as, as, the, as the nations of kings and priests. It says, to obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai, Christians who are Israelites are called chosen or elect of God. All right, the Messiah Yahweh Shai is called elect as appointed by the Most High to the most exalted office conceivable, the right hand side of the Most High. All right, choice, select, i.e., the best of its kind of class, excellence preeminent applied to a certain individual Christians, which Christians are the Israelites. So, you know, I just want to close on that. This is just something that you won't get from these other camps, you won't get from these other churches. Like I said, first and foremost, the Most High is not dealing with any other nation outside the nation of Israel. And this time around, he's not saving all of Israel, man. This isn't the first Egypt. This is the second Egypt. And he's only reserved a few that he's going to pick out and choose to uh, get salvation. Okay. One more scripture. Um, let me see Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9. It says, um, Having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself. All right, so those men who are out in the highways and byways uh, preaching his word in truth and sincerity, the Lord has made his mystery known unto these men. All right, and that word mystery comes from old niggas. All right, sorry for that interruption, man. It's just, you know, I put the word out and just a bunch of demons coming around here. All right, Mysterio, the mystery. All right, let's look at that word mystery. Hidden thing, secret, mystery. Generally, mysteries, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals, the election. A hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the understanding. All right, let's go down. Of, all right, the, um, the mysteries of God, the secret counsel which God, which govern God in dealing with the righteous, which are the election, which are hidden from ungodly, the two-thirds, and the other nations, starting with Esau, Edom, and wicked men, but plainly to the godly, the elect. Okay? So with that, I hope that was edifying. The most high is dealing with the election. Alright. You gotta you gotta go out here and do this work. Alright, you gotta pray that you're part of the election. Alright? Because the election is one that's gonna make it through all these turbulent times that we're going into heading to America. It might look like a nice day out here, it might be like 70, a little wind. It's overcast. People are walking their dogs to the neighborhood. But all hell is about to break loose here in Babylon. A lot of death is about to be out here. All right. The valley of shadow of death is about to be manifested out here. All right. What Esau did to the Native Americans, Seminole Indians, the so-called Negroes, and the so-called Mexicans when he was in his manifest destiny is not going to be anything compared to Jacob's trouble. So it's about time for you other men that's in these other camps to get this correct doctrine. All right, because your time is up, all right? And for the other men that's in, in this truth, keep pushing, keep teaching, all right? And keep praying to Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah to be part of that number. So with that, I want to say Shalom to the election.